Well, I guess it was finally time. Welcome all to a fresh hell of a new video where I discuss my thoughts on the Crew 2's various updates, not just the latest one, and why I won't be playing anymore, though really it has been a long, long time coming when it comes to the many updates this game has received and my patience running out with barely any fixes and lacking actual variety in content over the past few years. Firstly, the new up the new the new update stuff includes the battle pass system, which is a disgusting ripoff. First of all, it costs 80,000 crew credits, which is the funny money in the game. Yet it only gives back 40,000 for the paid tier of a pass, 20k if you're playing for free, which is absurd. And I dis I despise battle pass systems a lot, but at least every other game at least gives you back the money in full if you grind it out far enough. But this system is kind of unacceptable, especially when in the same update they also removed the way to get tiny bits of crew credit funny money through the daily contract system. Because apparently daily contracts and the battle pass are too similar to leave both in. What the hell? That does not make any logical sense to do this. As for the actual battle pass of the crew 2 itself, motor pass, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's just the re it's just repurposed hobbies, challenges. So you can already tell they put the bare minimum of effort into this. Furthermore, they have locked a bunch of exclusive cars behind it too, with some of the police vehicles. Which they said they wouldn't do again after the Mitsubishi Eclipse Star, which was a paid exclusive vehicle earlier this year. Oh, and I fully expect the uh, special vehicle designed by Kaisel Salim to be one of the premium tier vehicles in the second pass. My next issue is the apparent new mode the game has added, which really isn't that good. It's just the Fisher Price discount road rage of From Burnout, with none of the challenge or thought put into it. If you want to play Road Rage, you play Burnout Paradise, or if you want a game with actually good cop action, you play Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered, which came out a few weeks ago. Though to drift back on topic here, these events are not anything special, and this is likely replacing what little variety content we would have had because they keep pandering to the street or hypercar crowds, despite this game being a variety focused game, which all started shifting since January 2019 when they apparently had a change of plans and just decided to dump over 40 odd street events in 3 months, when it already had the most content in since the game's launch, 18 events and nearly 100 vehicles. Meanwhile other disciplines, especially hovercraft air race and motocross, get left abandoned or ruined by some physics changes in later updates. Which gets me to my next issue, the many physics updates I briefly mentioned the game has gotten over time. With all the changes the game has had, you would think it would be full of actual improvements. Well, the improvements this game keeps getting are often for the worse. Starting with the absolutely butchered rallycross handling, which went from extremely fun to extremely frustrating. Though I'm afraid I don't have any rallycross old foot old rallycross footage with me, so I can't show that. Then they changed the jet sprint slightly in the same update, making them slightly less responsive, which is weird when they are meant to be incredibly responsive boats. Thankfully they didn't utterly destroy this class in the chase for improvement. Though the April 19 the April 2019 update was a sign of things to come over the next over the next few years because when the November 2019 rolled around they messed up the plane physics and destroyed what was fun about them with them becoming more like driving soap in the air covered in treacle with a new unresponsiveness. Then they altered the street race and hypercar classes which they were testing for nearly a year since the April 2019 update which see which which, while they do have the newfound grip, was better, but the steering became very vague, like very intentionally vague, which which felt like a heavy filter to the steering, the actual steering input, which made it nearly impossible to be precise with turning. And finally, in their latest physics messing, they turned to motocross and made it more flexible. However, which in practice did sound good, but then they made it damn near controllable to actually drive, with all of the bikes being able to barely, straight, barely stay in a straight line. 
This constant physics altering has also made me turn away from the game. At least Hovercraft is still good though. And anyone who says otherwise is wrong. Mostly. My last point really to give out here is the general amount of smaller issues that have piled up over the past years and how little devs actually listen to the community. People have been asking for fixes to the nighttime and headlamps since the game's launch and the only thing they did was half ass it in the Gator Rush update. About the only bad thing in that update though, Gator Rush is ironic unironically the best update the game ever got with actual new substantial adjustments and new content but I'm going on a tangent here because what they did they made the sky brighter while not adjusting the ground brightness making it ironically harder to see where to go in, a str in on the just in the world in 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 the few instances and then there is the headlamp issue well the cars don't have good they don't work they basically don't work but the helicopter has a decent spotlight, which really could have been used on the cars just fine. Though it's still not great. I'll add this post-edit, but the summits also do not respect the player's time and effort for doing them by themselves. Because these skills are unrestricted, and most events you can slipstream train through most of them anyway. So if you want a game with a system which actually better respects your player's time and effort, go and play Wreckfest, it's just so much better and the rewards stay up for far longer than a week. And people have been asking for more variety content for other vehicle types since the game's launch as well, yet there's only been three new Jet Sprint events and no new Powerboat events, and only one new Air Race event since the game's launch. Which brings me to the end of this discussion, because while I understand that the current world situation, if you don't know you're being dumb, but honestly the current world situation, sure it makes it hard to do stuff, but this is just, I, uh, I don't know, I'm not on a script now so this is hard for me to say what to think. But it's just all these up, all these changes over the past few years have really soured my taste on the game completely and utterly. From all the small physics changes to the battle pass system nonsense that the game has added since the launch. But there is no excuse anymore. I'm sorry, but it's just been... Like, nothing's been fixed over the update. If you look through the update pages, there's been barely any actual major fixes. And physics reversions, there's been none of that when people have complained about certain physics. Nothing has been reverted in any sense of a word. And just the general feel of the game as well, with the street race obviously having so much more dis like content over any other discipline makes people think that the other disciplines are worthless when they shouldn't be looked as such. They shouldn't be looked at as lesser disciplines because of the, the treatment they've had at the hands of Ivory Tower. Well, I think that'll do for now. Uh, this has been hard to say, hard to speak out about, but here we go. Uh, I'll see you all soon. At least the hovercrafts remain unaltered and still quite fun to play, though I won't be playing that anymore.